This could be the perfect gift. It is the gift of blood. And we've got Mary Jane Thompson. Mary Jane is the uh, executive director of the Greater St. Louis American Red Cross. And she's joining us this morning to talk about a blood drive taking place this Friday. But before we get to that, let's talk about this critical need. I know at the Red Cross there is increasing concern about the, the amount of blood that is on hand. Absolutely. Uh, just in our area, and I know you know this, John, you're, you're a very loyal donor. Uh, we need 600-plus units per day to serve the hospitals uh, just here in the St. Louis area and across our region. So there is a, a, a strong need, a critical need for blood donors, as well as you've heard, uh, the convalescent plasma that we're able to collect and transfuse to patients who have COVID-19 and are receiving treatment. Yeah, and that plasma is so important that this is taken from people who have had COVID-19 and the antibodies. I know that in, in nursing facilities and in hospitals, that plasma is used to give people a head start so they can beat COVID-19. Yes, those antibodies are, are critical to um, being helpful for physicians to treat, treat those who are very ill. So uh, physicians order them, and our goal is to meet all orders through through collecting blood in our community. And, and Mary Jane, I can attest, I, I saw you at one of the blood drives, uh, I believe it was in May or June. Uh, since the pandemic started, I've donated three times. I'm extremely impressed with how safe everything is. Perhaps you can you can touch on that. Yes, we are already regulated by the FDA as blood is considered a biologic and a medication. So we have some stringent guidelines that we follow each and every day on every blood drive that we conduct. And we've, we've enhanced those. Of course, everyone at the blood drive wears masks. But you, if you go into a blood drive uh, today, you may see increased social distancing. You definitely will. Our donor chairs, while, while people wait to go into our health history, are spaced uh, six plus feet apart. We have enhanced uh, sanitization practices. Uh, if you if you complete your blood donation and go into the canteen, you may be at a table by yourself having your snack. So it may be a little lonelier than it was pre-March, uh, but definitely making sure that our donors feel comfortable and have the social distancing they need, as well as the sanitization practices that we already have in place being increased. All right, they're wrapping me up, but we got to talk about this blood drive. It's Friday. You have three locations in Missouri, O'Fallon, Arnold, and Town and & Country, plus one in Illinois. Yes, Friday, November 27th, it's the 11th annual Joy FM Boost Radio Blood Drive. We are excited. It's the perfect gift blood drive and just so grateful to Joy and Boost for promoting this blood drive every year, bringing in over 600 units the day after Thanksgiving. One note that's important, our Cornerstone United Methodist Church in St. Charles County has been moved to Calvary Church. So okay. please have people go to our website, website Red Cross blood.org and we will also uh, take your call and make an appointment the beautiful thing about our donors at the perfect gift blood drives and the joy fm boost listeners they do make appointments they come in and they really look at this as as their gift to the community as they are so grateful and thankful for for having celebrated thanksgiving mary so thank jane thompson you for, thank you for joining us this morning we appreciate it take and care bye john you too and once again the number 1-800-RED-CROSS you can always remember that to make an appointment